Hey everybody, it's Mario497 here. Welcome to my new Let's Play of Kirby Return to Dreamland. And you might notice that the health bar is different. That's because I am playing the X mode version, not the normal version. Because the normal version was a little too easy. Anyways, um, I, there's a difference between the X mode and the normal mode. Um, there are major differences and minor differences, but we'll get into the differences much later in the game, so yeah. Uh, first level, first stage in this game, it's called stage. Um, very simple, just gives you the controls, but you don't need to, you're not gonna be doing four players, unfortunately, but, yeah, um, okay, so basically, it, it tells you the controls, but I'm, I'm just gonna play it like the game would typically want me to do it, so, one is to inhale, obviously, and then one again is to spit out, and, uh, one, you, you know, you just spit it out, and then, Spit it out, and okay, it gets a little bit more interesting here. One, one, down, and then basically you copy your ability, just like, just like a, just like, just like um, just like oh, I can't talk today. Just like classic Kirby games. Um, it's also well, it's also worth noting that the uh, the stars in the X mode look a much better, in my opinion, than the one in. Mode. Oh uh, yeah, just, just, right there it's telling you to double tap the D-pad to, uh, to um, double tap the D-pad to run, not to uh, walk. Because if you just walk, you do that. Double tap and make it run much faster. Um, also, in this game, they also made um, different, made the copy abilities have do more things than usual. So here it says, Don a green hat takes takes a sword in hand, spin slash do a sword dive as well as Finishing strike, it's all about the flourish. And over here it's overhead slash one with full health is a sword beam. Uh, multi sword. After that, um, I'll explain I will I'll, I'll uh, pretty much um demonstrate all these for you. Um drill stab, sword beam, sword spin, chop and thrust, down thrust, up up slash down down dive, spin Spin slash underwater slash. There's so many things you can do. So basically, like you can do that, you can do that. This is to do that. The sword beam. Yeah, there's so much stuff you can do, but we'll we'll get into more of those a bit later because we can't do uh, some of them right now. We need some of these to do the other tricks. Also, uh, Fire House has. Um, I'm not gonna read the descriptions for every single one of them, but you get my point. Yeah, they they did a lot with this game. They they did like copy abilities can do so much more stuff than before. Like um, no, I mean this game before they couldn't. Before it was like, pretty much like one copy ability solely to put into like one or two moves. But now they did okay. That's called a star piece. We can get rid of that. I'm gonna 
Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I get mixed between 1 and 2 because, uh, I've been playing Smash Brothers and, yeah. Anyways, uh, as you can see, X mode is a bit harder because as you can see, we're almost dead already, so... Yeah, over here, it's called an enemy here. If you collect it, um, they're scattered all around the, all around the green world, so if you saw, if you saw the, uh, if you saw the, the beginning part, you, you would know that, uh, he, uh, dropped the, the, the energy spheres all around the, all around Popstar, and by the way, this is from your Super Nintendo, if you do this and then shake the controller, you do a Super Nintendo, you get a 1-up in the process, um, it is also worth mentioning that the 1-ups in, um, X mode have a crown, but, uh, but in normal mode, they didn't, so that's also really cool. See, we're getting into new stuff already. Um, also, enemies, I believe they do more damage in X mode, so, yeah. Oh, and on top of that, you are, your health is cut by about 40%, so yeah, you want to play, you, you don't want to be careless with your, with your health. Don't take as much risks, unless you're a pretty messed up. Okay, now right here is a, is a, uh, right there where, where I did the nail was, was a, uh, I can't talk today, uh, it's called the Ultra Sword and it's a super ability. But yeah, I had to look up that, look that up by, by 50 plus, anyways. Basically what, what, uh, super abilities are is they're massive, massive, massive weapons that Kirby can use and pretty much... You can tell if you if an enemy is holding one if if they uh if they're glowing. So if they're glowing, you want to you want to inhale them because they will be overpowered and they will destroy you on screen. And also they change. Also in this case, it's called the Ultra Sword, where um, it changes uh, it changes sword every time you uh, you spin it. Here's a let's say a cooking knife. Right there is. Something diagonal right there is uh, the wooden sword, right there is the Galaxia sword. Yeah, there's so much you can do. Okay, now here we're going to get introduced to a new uh, a new mechanic. I don't think it's any in, it's in any other Kirby games, but once we swing our sword, let's find out. Oh wow, that, that's actually one of the more rare um, swords. The fish is actually one more is actually a bit more rare. Um, it's also pointing out, it's also uh, worth pointing out that I believe the, uh, the, uh, the meter down there for, for your, uh, for your super ability, uh, wears out fast in X mode. Anyways, now that we entered the portal, um, this portal right here, it does not, uh, does not, uh, give damage to you, it just pushes you, which is bad, because you can get squished, however, you can repel it by, uh, by, uh, shooting, uh, stuff at it. Uh, the bigger the uh, object, the bigger the stars, the, the more knockback it gets, obviously. Um, also, I believe there's more enemies in X mode, so that's also another uh, challenging thing. But, um, yeah, we got interested to so many differences in, in X mode in just this one episode. So, yeah, they, they, they did a lot more uh, difficulty with X, X mode, anyways. Um, that's all I guess I was going to mention for now. But uh, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Also, it's also mentioning. It's also worth mentioning that the that this, that this, that this wall over here um, goes more fast than the next one than normal. Because uh, well, they need to make it harder. Because um, oh, frankly, the uh, the original mode was a little bit too. At least in my opinion. Right? Um, I didn't take any more damage. I just put sword over fire. Nah, yeah, why not? <laughs> okay, now what we're gonna fight here is a spear demon. Now they'll at least they will carry two energy spears. Also, it is worth mentioning in the uh well, I guess it's not really worth mentioning, but um, pretty much uh, I'm getting really good at uh, pretty much um X mode, the uh, spear demon only had one eye, however in in a uh, normal mode, they have had two eyes. Yeah. Oh. There we go, okay. Oh, also, by the way, um, 
If, if you saw what he was doing there, uh, you might see it in future videos, but that actually was a black hole. What he was over it, so you couldn't actually see it that well, anyways. Um, you'll be able to find, see it, uh, in the next couple of videos, I guess. Okay, now we finish the level, so we go into the door. Okay, goal game. Let's try getting a first. Come on! Yeah! Perfect, perfect start to a new LP. Okay, so that took us quite a while to complete, actually, but I guess it's the cutscene that took a lot of that time up, anyways. Stage 2. Um, let's see what's in stock of stock for stage two. Um, obviously I'm going to- I'll, I'll try to go for 100%. I'll probably go for 100%, probably, uh, in these kind of games. Um, but, yeah. Also, for people who think this is a, uh, new Super Mario 2.0, uh, I- I kinda and kinda don't agree with you, because even though if it does support 4 player multiplayer, it's a huge game. They're still doing like the Kirby kind of stuff, so I, I wouldn't say it's a new Super Mario Bros. Wii clone. So, yeah. Um, just, like, why did I do that, anyways? Oh uh, yeah, so yeah, that's the spin slap, I believe. Where you just like, just smash one. And I, and I believe it does a lot of damage. Like, that! That was overkill. Anyways, uh, this warp star is just going, nothing too special, you're just riding around, as you will see right now. Now, you cannot access this area, you cannot walk in this area, which I don't get why they didn't do this, like, I don't get why they didn't, they didn't just drop you off there, but, who you knows. And, we're off here now, you get a few stars there, very easy. Um, I'm kind of running out of things to talk about, actually. Um, I covered pretty much everything. Oh, Cutter, okay. Cutter is pretty much the... It's like, um, I believe, more common abilities, just like fire and sword. Uh, so cut through the ropes with blade of well-aimed boomerang. Aim it up or down, or charge it up for a hyper boomerang. So, these are the moves. So yeah, um, Hyper Boomerang is where you can charge it, obviously, and then you can uh, control where the, uh, where the uh, boomerangs go, so if you want to do that, just do that, come on, you gotta get that spider, there you go, very, very simple. It act the cutter kind of acts like a lot of, like, a sword, because you can do, like, that, uh, that multi-slash thing, uh, like that, however, you have to be, uh, close to the enemy, so Cutter is a lot similar to something like Sword. Unfortunately, you can't do that upper cut thing, but whatever. Yeah, yeah, that 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 means it's like so overpowered, anyway. Um, yeah, you can do most of that, and you can do like a uh, a Cutter version of Drill Stab, and then that is where like the Kirby stars. Uh, the red stars, I believe, are worth 20, and the, the regular stars, I believe, are worth 1, if, not, if I'm not mistaken. But anyways, we'll find out. Um, yeah, they're worth 1, okay. Uh, this, you want to just carry around, it will demolish any energy with one kicks, and it will kill those, uh, metal brick blocks. Metal brick blocks, I think. Um, yeah, this is pretty powerful as well, and it's pretty also Stuff like that, so you want to go get that spirit. And then you want to quickly hurry before it runs out, and then right when it runs out, um how do I what? Oh it's one, okay. I got confused there for a minute, because I'm like uh because I've been playing so much Smash Brothers and I used the Wii mode. Um don't judge me, okay. Um and I get confused between the controls sometimes, so Forgive me if I'm like, if I'm like that. Now right here we have the needle, which is actually very cool. Cause there's actually a little Easter egg with needle, but you can read that. Uh, I didn't need to read the cutter button, but you can read that if you want to. Um, so yeah, these are all the moves. It only has one page, unfortunately, but 
Basically, one up, you do that. Now, the, the Easter egg is, uh, if you run, it's actually a wheel. So that that's actually a reference to the wheel uh, copy ability from from, uh, from the password game. So that's really, really cool. And also you can stick to your objects like this. Needle is pretty is a good defensive is a good defensive item because you can just stay like this and then the enemies can't hurt you. Uh, it's also a uh, cheap uh, move for uh, for this boss fight. Um, wow, the video is getting pretty long. Anyways, there's a secret in here if you go over here and over here you get dun dun run dun 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 run you get Starman. No, you don't. Uh, you get the, uh, the lollipop, which gives you, uh, gives you hyper or something, because he's, like, invincible now. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, uh, also, um, I- Okay, when I first played this game, pretty much I did not know where the second enemy spear was. It's right over here, hidden in the tree. And, yeah, that is a very good place to hide energy sphere. Um... Oh yeah, I, I want to show you this. This is this is called Beam. Basically, if you charge it, you do that. Uh, the, here's Beam's description, and then all that. Um, yeah, I, I, I kind of save some time for that, but anyway, I'm not gonna be going through all of it, all of the um, all of the pages for for this. What do you get? Uh, okay. Uh, for this boss, I'm, I'm gonna show you the All you gotta do... Okay. All you gotta do is just when you're in the air, you smash one. And then you will constantly do that. And bang! And I actually need the sword. Um, whenever you, whenever you defeat a mini boss like I just did there, make sure that you copy their abilities. Because more than often you need them for an energy sphere, like right here. You cannot pass that, so what you do, the sword can actually reach that and clip through the wall somehow, it defies laws of physics, and you get your last energy sphere of the level, not the game. And then you go get that, and then go in here. I'm, I think we'll do one more level of this, of this, uh, game for this episode and then drop. Come on! Oh, nice, nice, two in a row. Alrighty, so now, stage three, let's see what's in stock for that. Going to stage three! Okay. Um. Oh, no, I did not mean to, uh. Oh, well. I did not mean to, um. Get to defeat that enemy, but okay. It doesn't matter. Um. I'm gonna drop this copy ability because because there's another ability that which is um, by far probably the most overpowered ability in the game. Um, and they gave you this early, like seriously. But anyways, you grab this. It is called Spark. Now Spark it is so overpowered because you, you can do that. You can do that. You constantly destroy. You constantly have uh, invincibility frames. You can do that. And also, another uh, famous uh, move that's done by many people is to rotate the D-pad, you can actually uh, build a force field around you, and then shoot it. Or you can shake the remote, like, like what I'm doing right now. Um, it also sh shows you over here. Okay. So yeah, you, Spark is pretty powerful for defense and offense. It's, it's both, effectively. Now you don't don't go in that door. Go down here, and it's here. <laughs> that runs. Anyways, I'll be I'll be trying to use as much of the ability as, as possible. But yeah, I don't like the ability to be honest with you. But a lot, a lot of people uh, use it just to like make their lives easier. But I don't like to use it. Anyways, uh, but after you, you can use it if you That also rhymes. Now see right here, like. Like look, look at this, like I'm char like the shield is charged and I can and I can just do that. Like just run into enemies carelessly. 
So if you have a hard time, then buy on this item. Because this item can possibly save your life. Um, yeah, I'm gonna fix that actually, but, you know. And... Shoot it! And we get some food and I miss it. Oh, no, 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 no. Switch back to fire. Give me that fire. Give me that fire. Okay. Now we're gonna get introduced to a new mechanic once again. Um, in this room, I believe. Um, should I go with beam? Oh, I keep on thinking that B is the is the guard button. I mean, and yes, um, if you hold A, it pretty much just uh, gives you defense. Um, it, it gives you you take less damage if you do it. Um. So, oh, okay, defeat this first. Uh, yeah, um, there, there are more of the Scarfies in X mode than there are in normal mode, so it makes it more annoying as well. Okay, luckily, yeah, we, yeah, we can just do that. Um, okay, uh, right, I'm gonna defeat you. You are gonna get in my way, okay. Okay, hold the key, and the, the Scarfie is gonna respawn because it likes to be like that. See, see, it's following you, and then you just do that, and then there you go. The pink Scarfies will uh, go after you if you uh, carry the uh, key with you. Um, but the orange Scarfies, uh, the Scarfies, uh, which we haven't been introduced yet, will only uh, go after you if you uh, try to hurt them in any way, shape, or form. That includes inhaling or using uh, uh, power again. So, yeah. Uh, this episode is getting really long, but that's fine. I'm fine with the first episode being very really long, so... Get those stars, and let's see if we can get top three. Come on, we can do this. Let's go. Oh, never mind. What, what am I- what am I thinking? That wasn't even the goal. Ever. Okay, now right here, you wanna run! Run! Just run like no tomorrow. No, 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 no! I didn't make it in time. But basically, if you ran, like, as fast as you could, you could have gotten my speed. But, uh, I wasn't fast enough. You need, you need fire for that, but, yeah. Then you, then you would have gotten that energy spear. Oh, well, well, we'll get it next episode, because this episode is getting very long. Okay, let's try going for three in a row. Let's do this. Come on! Oh! Oh well. Oh well. We we couldn't get them all. Can't win them all. Oh well. Okay, so I think we will wrap it up here. So next time on Kirby's Return to Dreamland, we'll be possibly getting that last energy sphere. And, um, go into the next level. I'll see you guys then.